Hi, uh, this is Ken. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to uh, upgrade the firmware of uh, Leo X5. First of all, you need to identify the OTG port, which is here. Difficult to zoom, but I assume you you know where is it. The OTG port. Okay. And uh, what you have to do is just you need only two cables. One is the power you connect it to X5, but you do not power it up. You stay in the off state, and then you need the cable, the micro USB cable. Uh, this one is the one that I have uh, show you in the video that. I used a life to trim it down to make the head to make the head longer this cable you can see the plastics are still there so now I'm going to connect the cable to the X5 to the OTG part to ensure that the contact is uh, perfect and the head is completely into the OTG port you should be able to see some of the metal part out of the case like what I'm showing here you have a little bit metal part of the head left and then we have connected power into the OTG and then you put it aside now we connect it uh, again you you will need to hold the recover button now we connect it to the computer but we do not and we haven't powered it up yet now what you have to do you have to find the recover the hole of the recover hole at the back just besides the HDMI port you press and hold it you can feel the click sound you should be able to hear the click sound press inside and hold it when you hold it you power up the X5 by holding it the power button for about 2 to 3 seconds then you should be able to find something in windows then you could release release the recover button now we move to the computer part so you can see when you do it successfully you will see the connected device in green and also you will see the drivers loaded here the RK3 device you can see and uh, Okay, then we are ready to flash. It's not difficult at all, but you just need to follow exactly what I'm showing here. You load the image, you locate the folder, and then this is the new image for X5. I select it, and you can see the loading firmware finished. And it is ready to flash. Press this restore button and you are good to go. Now it's green, the status means it's ready. Then we do the restore. Just follow, it will be completed automatically. You don't have to do anything, just wait. Back to the OTG when we are spending time here. Many I've seen some many users they have problems connecting to the PC. They said uh, Windows can't find it. I believe most probably is caused by the back contact of the OTG port with the micro USB cable. 
and that's why I have uh, show you how to cut some of the plastics here off from the cable to get the longer to get a longer head micro USB head to connect to the OTG let's see the, the firmware is loading keep waiting almost done You can see the restore is done in success so what we have to do is just exit the program and then uh, you can unplug the USB cable from the computer and also you can uh, remove it from X5 You can simply unpack also the power and then connect it back to your TV, it will be fine. Thank you for watching.